working. You so, yeah, so I was only working 24 hours a week, two days a week. I was good. For my little, you know what I was getting for my little 20 hours in college? Hey. 725. <laughs> no, that's crazy. So throughout my entire time in college, I never had a minimum wage job. Like I was at least always making a, at least 25, like 25, 30 an hour. So like, you know, in college, you know, typically everybody can have like the struggling stories. I mean, I had it my freshman year. My freshman year, I was definitely struggling because I wasn't reckon I was running track. But, like, after that, man, I was making, like, really good money, and I wouldn't even have to break a lot either. <laughs> Big take, not the little one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I definitely say start interning as soon as possible. Get a resume out and intern, for sure. Right, and with y'all, it's, now it's so much access to jobs and man. stuff like that. Y'all have no excuse. LinkedIn. No excuse. And LinkedIn wasn't really popping like that it back was not. then. Like, you know, now they got the LinkedIn influencers and stuff like that. But, like, back then, it was cool. It was definitely helpful. But now it's just, like, shit. Like, yeah, it's yeah. it's like that. Like, I know he get reached out to you probably, like, five times a day. Bro, I can pull up my phone right now. I bet somebody <laughs> probably reached out to me today and was like, hey, we got a job. <laughs> like, I, I actually had someone reach out to me, like, two weeks ago. Um, had a job, like, a total company, like, 600000 but I want to set that joint. <clears throat> I, I shared one that uh, the other day on the post. It's like cloud security, something. Mm-hmm. But it was it was around that same ball. Yeah, I think this one was like for a blockchain security engineer okay. or some shit like that. But that's cool though. Like you you niching down on that. So yeah, I'm definitely starting but to niche now. I want to actually talk about <laughs> the internship that we met each other at. That, <laughs> that I, he probably ain't learned nothing because I know I, I ain't learned. Didn't learn shit at that internship. So listen, well, this, I don't even know if they really exist anymore because they merged with Trillix. But oh, they did. Yeah. Well, no, oh. no, no. My fault. McAfee and Fire Eye merged together and made Trillix. <clears throat> That's what it was. McAfee, McAfee who? Fire Eye. For real? Yeah, remember Fire Eye had like that breach or something that happened with them? They did. They did. Yeah, they got dang. like an office in um down there by the uh, Star in Frisco. Oh, dang. I ain't know. Hey, listen. Fun fact. When I accepted the offer for the gig I got now, mm-hmm. I was actually eating McAllister's in the old parking lot of mm-hmm. McAfee. It's a ghost town. <laughs> oh man, it's like I don't town. even remember that. Oh, no, nah, yeah, I do. It was in Plain, Plain, no, Plain, no, yeah, Plain, yeah, yeah. Preston, Plain, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Preston, and uh, Hedgecock. Yeah, yeah, Preston Road. Yeah, it yeah. was uh, you, that was what twenty seventeen, right? Late twenty seventeen, because I started yeah, in March of twenty seventeen. Yeah, twenty seventeen. Because the next year, the next I started month, that summer. Yeah, the next month I got laid off, and then you was back in school. Yep. Yeah, I was still there though. I ended up leaving the internship because I got another internship with uh, Bella Scott and White. Yeah. So like I, I remember that. Yeah. It was just like, bro, I'm not learning. Like, I'm not learning nothing here. It's <laughs> like, you know what's funny though? Shout out to uh shout out to Big Willie, man. Uh, Willie really probably was the only one that was doing stuff. Bro, Willie, Willie was, was doing more genius. work than me, and I was on salary getting paid. Oh, he was an intern. I forgot, bro, Willie. They probably the only reason why they was sitting around was because of Willie. Willie it was, was you, Willie, and it was uh somebody else that was came in with y'all at the same time. I don't remember. I mean it was somebody else, but I remember. I remember we had like our manager was like a sales guy. Yeah, are you talking about Alex? Yeah, I thought it was Josh. Yeah, Josh. Okay, I'm trying to see. So Alex was the manager at first. The mm-hmm. guy who was like big, tall, with a bald, wore a hat. Yeah, he was the manager at first. Then Josh came in. Yeah, he was like security sales. Like, yeah, man, that was a listen. We could actually have a whole pod. Yeah, about that's how a whole podcast. That was a that. shit show. Like. Yeah. Like, the sim was a hot mess. Trash, garbage. But, you know, companies still be using that. They'll reach out sometimes. You know, oh, yeah, like ESM? Mike, Mike yeah. Idiot. They, like, people still be using Nitro. When, before I started working at Opta, Ados was uh, pretty much offered me because I knew how to use Nitro and something else because they were using our McAfee products. Ugh. Right. Not, uh, sim was trash. <clears throat> The nope, the person who was the manager, neither one of them never ran in the sock, never worked in the sock before. Yeah. They spent all the money in the world to build a new sock just to lay us off. <laughs> they didn't give us any training on how to use their sim or like what like we that had was no terrible, bro. We had no use cases. I swear to God, the only thing we did, and he can vouch for this, was look for one cry. Once one cry popped, bro, I, I was like, bro. I was looking <laughs> yeah. for his IPs. With the um, one across, like yeah, with the signatures, and then send them to the networking team. That's all we did, bro. That was, and then that was, it was at one point. weren't they trying to make it like a physical? <clears throat> Wait, yeah, no, they bought the physical people in there. Yeah, then they <clears throat> came in and saw some. First of all, oh, then they bought Mr. Bill in from the FBI, who <clears throat> didn't know what he was talking about at all. Yeah, I remember that. Talking about, oh, we need to learn Python. I say, like, bro, you don't even know what you're doing. They like, just what are you using Python for? Right. That's right. why. Um, that's what, well, he moved away, but I wanted to get Ron on the podcast because Ron was who I wanted to be the manager. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run the with stuff. Yeah. Run was like, uh, you know, running all them was contractors. Him, 
And the two other white guys, I can't think their name was. Uh, I couldn't tell Daniel you. and some else. I think that's their names. I can't remember. Because I know one of them went to, uh, he went to another, because uh, I forgot the name of it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But yeah. we're going to say, but Autumn was contractors. And there's a period of time when, you know, they want them to come over full time. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, Ron was, you know, doing his negotiations and stuff like that. He yeah. walked into work one day and Bill told him, you're welcome. <laughs> and Ron came in that room. Was like, I almost lost my job. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like, no that that work culture was definitely toxic, and uh, it was. I yeah, I couldn't work there. Yeah, was, uh, I used to uh, <clears throat> I used to go to the Stonebriar and stuff on the weekends when I had to work on the weekend. Mm-hmm. But I just go to Stonebriar and, and walk around and stuff. When like, <laughs> like bro, it was nothing. Like we was like we were just be in a room, just like sitting there. Like, I didn't learn nothing. Bro, you, I learned everything what not to do. Nah, for sure. Only I reason I did. knew, only reason I learned some stuff was from Run. Run was like, all right, look, this is what you need to do. I'm going to show you how to do this. Because hey, Tex didn't know nothing. I used to say, Tex, do you know what to do? He would say, no, but he wouldn't speak up. I was like, yeah. I don't know why I know what they do. <laughs> Bro, I would just come in. I was like, as an intern, I'm like, hey, so what do I do? Like, it was legit. And I just, I'll work with Willie. I'm like, hey, like, you know, what you, I want to hear, you know, I was learning from fucking Willie. I was learning from that intern. Right. <laughs> Aniba wouldn't show us nothing. Like, we learned a little bit. Like, see, now Kelly, that dude, he did the forensics <laughs> investigation. So they, he they actually, had a forensic lab. So yeah. he actually had stuff he was working on. So we tried to figure out what he was doing. His real name was James Brown. That's the funny thing. <laughs> the white dude named James Brown. <laughs> oh, man. But now that's funny. But then you went on to have two internships after that, right? Yeah. I went to Baylor Scott and White. So you did Baylor Scott and White during the school year, and then you did yeah. Cisco after that. And then it's Cisco after that, and then I got my full time job. I don't know if you want to at a high level if you want to talk about my Cisco. Yeah, oh, I don't care. Yeah, they were. I had. I was working with racist interns. <laughs> it was so like it was so crazy. So um, this is other girl named Michelle. She's a, she actually she's a prophecy engineer at um, Amazon now. She we worked at Robin Hood with each other, and now she was at Google before that. But um, like her her parents her people like all of them have like high degrees like doctorates and stuff like that and um we were just kind of going around I didn't know, like what are your parents doing and in my head I'm like why, why are we even asking this stuff like by what our parents get they ask me like how you get this internship I'm like the same way you got this internship <laughs> or maybe not maybe y'all had a connection I did but I was kind of going around like asking like what our parents did and stuff like that and um uh, it got to her and I was like, oh, yeah, like, you know, uh, my family, like, they got their doctor. I forgot. I think her mom's Lord. I don't know what is it, but they got their doctor's degree. And I was like, what? And I was like, yeah, that was like, wait, wait, wait like, did she actually got a doctor's degree? I was like, yeah, she got a doctor's degree. And I was like, oh, wow, like, I didn't really think people, like, I was like, what? <laughs> yo, yo, dog. And it was like, I don't remember exactly. They would say some other racist, like, bro, it was like, what the? F-? So we ended up going, well, she went to HR and told, and, um, uh, yeah, it's like um, I got listed as like you know witness to it and stuff like that, but yeah, um, from what I seen, nothing happened. So I bet it didn't, cause yeah. The other thing is what I found out about Cisco throughout the years, like they don't pay what they supposed to. No, they don't at all. They do it as if like you supposed to be happy you working for Cisco. Yeah, and so that was the thing. So um, I didn't get a return offer from that internship or whatever, cause I I stopped coming like to the internship. Like we was in Richardson, we didn't have like nobody in the office. It was literally just like a bunch of interns in the room. So I would just stay home and work from home, like, cause we we typically get um, partner up with somebody, and like I was um, installing like uh, Cisco uh, ice and um, like the firewalls and stuff like that. So I like I was actually going out to clients. I ended up going like the Best Buy or whatever in um, Minnesota, I think, or some shit, to kind of help them install that. That was Minnesota. Yeah. So I was uh, saying, how was it? Us? Uh, mm, I wouldn't go back. You would? No, I mean. It's, that's cold. I don't like the cold. Oh, you went doing the cold. No, it was during the summer. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah. I like. I just said walk is because Target out there, so that's why I said it. Yeah, so I had a job off from Target too. Target actually played pretty nice, but hey, they wanted me to move. I they do, move. but they was remote at the time when I was talking. Nah, to Nah, they wanted me but to they move. They put the roles on hold. Nah, they wanted me. Yeah, I couldn't move to Minnesota. <clears throat> no, not at all. But um, yeah. So like, and I wasn't learning nothing. Um, I did get my CCNA and all that while I was there, so I did get that. Um and I got my CCNA cyber ops or some sh- like the the I know yeah. what you're talking about. It's like uh the guy that used to work with me at income yeah. at the knock, he was talking about the cyber ops thing. Yeah, it, it was trash. But um <laughs> I, it's Cisco, I, I would never work with Cisco. Well, you know what? Let me not say never, just in case they may up to pay. But no, like um like a year after that, they ended up offering me a job and I was just like, nah, I'm good. Like it, the money wasn't even worth it. It was like 
think the offer was like 105. It wasn't even more than I was getting paid. Like, yeah. and they don't want to give you like no sign on bonus. I mean, they give you one, but it ain't like 10, 15, maybe, maybe yeah. 15, maybe 15, but like $10,000. It wasn't nothing crazy. 